You've been changing your diet. You've gone to a totally plant-based vegan diet. Good for you, that's fantastic. But you know what? Your friends are asking you the same question, aren't they? They're asking, where do you get your mm -hmm. protein? Or if you're new to this, you might be asking that yourself. Where am I gonna get protein on a plant-based diet? Or maybe you've been Googling and you Googled plant-based protein sources and that's what landed you here? Well, we've got some answers for you. The truth is, if you've just started a completely healthy plant-based diet, you might be at risk of developing a condition that I call protein anxiety. <laughs> what that actually means is you're not protein deficient, but you are worried. You're worried about getting enough protein. You might not be sure what protein is, but you're afraid you're not gonna get it. Well, let me put your mind at ease. Protein is widely available. It's in beans, it's in vegetables, it's in grains, and protein deficiency is really virtually unheard of if you're getting any normal combination of those healthy plant-based foods. All right, a few numbers. How much protein do you need? The government would say about 0.4 grams per pound of your body weight, or if you're going metric, 0.8 grams per kilogram. What that means is an average woman needs about 46 grams a day. A man, call it 56. But if you actually look at the numbers, most people get about twice that amount, and even those numbers are a little bit generous. Now, you might be thinking, well, a little protein's good, a lot has got to be better. No, I'm sorry to say it's not true. If you're really indulging in animal protein, what's coming along with it? Fat, cholesterol, the occasional salmonella. No, you don't need that extra protein. Your body can't use it, and neither can you. Okay, so where am I gonna get protein from plants? Okay, more numbers. Let's say you're eating a typical 2,000 calorie diet, which is about normal for a typical person. Well, if all I ate was broccoli for a whole day, 2,000 calories would give me 146 grams of pure protein. If I ate 2,000 calories a day of nothing but lentils, not that you'd ever do this, but you'd get 157 grams of pure protein. So hopefully you're not having just broccoli or just lentils. If you're eating any variety of, of plant foods, you're getting protein-rich sources from all of them, including all of the essential amino acids that your body needs to make protein of its own. So as long as you're eating enough calories, you're getting enough protein, and that's also true for athletes. Athletes do need more protein, that's true, but what do they do to get more protein? They eat more food, and protein comes along with it. They're breathing more, they're getting more oxygen as they're running, they're eating more, they're getting more protein too. Now wait a minute, you might have heard somebody talk about essential amino acids, which I mentioned just briefly. Well, essential amino acids are building blocks that your, your body uses to make protein, but they are found in plants. Plants have all the essential amino acids that you need. And when you combine foods like rice and beans, you get all the best of all these different plant sources. So, protein anxiety, let it go. On a healthy plant-based diet, you're getting not just away from the bad things like fat and cholesterol, but you're getting into healthy foods, vitamins, minerals, and yes, plenty of protein to meet your needs. Have at it.